Basic number operations is an important concept that you'll need for the core math test. In this quick video, we'll go over the different types of numbers. This is something I might recommend you commit to memory because in my experience, there are typically at least one or two questions that ask something about the types of numbers, and you don't want to miss a question because you don't remember the definitions. A natural number is any number greater than zero with no decimal or fraction attached. So one, two, three, four, and so forth. A whole number is the same thing, but it includes the number zero. And then when you add in integers, that includes all positive and negative natural numbers and zero. A rational number are numbers that can be represented as a fraction. Um, or a decimal, but the decimal part must terminate or resolve into a repeating fraction. So like negative 12, 4 fifths, um, 0 0.333, if it repeats forever, that's okay. That is still a rational number because it's a repeating number. Irrational numbers are those numbers that can't be represented as fractions. It's a decimal that never ends and it doesn't resolve into a repeating pattern, like pi. Then we have real numbers, any number that can be represented by a point on the number line. It includes all rational and irrational numbers. Imaginary numbers include the imaginary unit i, which is written as an italic lowercase i, where i is the square root of negative 1. Factors are all the numbers of a natural number that can multiply together to make that number. So for instance, the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. But then when you have prime numbers, that's a number that is divisible only by itself and the number 1. However, please note that 1 is not considered a prime number. And then lastly, a composite number is a number that has two or more factors. So 6 is a composite because its factors are 1, 2, 3, and 6. Every natural number is either a prime number or a composite number.